one. What do you want? Good Sunday morning to you, boo boo. What do you want? Huh? I don't have your food in the room. You have your food in the pool house where Malia gives you, right? And then you have your food here in the kitchen so I can give you. But only when I'm downstairs. But I am here in the bedroom. Boo boo, look at me again. Boo boo. Boo boo. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Look, look up. Look up, boo boo. Look, 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 look up, boo boo. Boo boo. Look up. Look up to me, yeah. Look up to me. Yes. Just finished my yoga and um, I posted some photos on my Facebook page. I would have to train more often with the hands that meet in the back. So let's see. Um, I'm going to have my lunch now after the shower. So I've moved this laptop that I always place it here. This time I found a way by moving my table from here, which pot here will be filled with plants later on today, to here and place my laptop because then I can see since the glare from here could not make me see the laptop properly. So I've rearranged, I've cleaned it up, including the drawer, and this spinning chair, office chair. So now it's become like this. I love it, creating things, especially when it's constructive and productive. So cozy and practical. Again, rearrange the plant that was here. Now I moved it here. And I moved the table towards my side. Also the couch. That's it. Or the safety. And I took out the partition and put back in Tanya's room because it belongs to Tanya's room actually. Yeah, that's it. It's past 2 p.m. And change again. The rearrangement here that I did earlier on this table. Okay, so far, so good. I rearranged my office table. And the light that I used to have here, I moved to my bedroom so that I could put on my makeup properly. already there yes I use that light that lamp on my makeup table which is supposed to be writing desk oops sorry my dress is still there there's the minute break it's supposed to be the writing table writing desk but I use it for my makeup it's such a beautiful day here today so bright, so beautiful. I might go for a swim. I might. Was going to go swimming, but then the sky is overcast again. So I'm so glad this is my new office corner. Rearrange. It's great. I love it. Arrange my makeup corner. I think 
I could put a big mirror here replacing the painting and the Balinese statue here that used to be there I put it here I moved it here in my bathroom Oops. just see my housekeeper always prepared the towel hand towel and then once you used it you put it here and then she'll take them to wash that's it yeah so that's where the Balinese statue is placed I feel great today it's Wednesday right and uh, I rearrange my office desk my office corner here and make it as comfortable as I would like it to be because I'm a comfort creature and I love wherever I find myself in make it so cozy regardless of the size be it small or spacious I always found a way to make it so cozy in every way and I love doing it because it's my passion so today I changed the office from its light lamp that I moved to my makeup corner in my bedroom and uh, moved one lamp from the sitting room of the office to the desk and all these other little things like the table now I used to place my laptop so that the light from this side of the house doesn't glare too much whenever I open the computer so it's a perfect position to sit and now it's 5.15 in the afternoon it's overcast, it's cloudy, it's going to rain and the light as you can see it's quite nice right no foundation no eye makeup and just lipstick and a little bit of uh, cold pencil that's all I took a shower I feel good I was going to to have a swim but I changed my mind because the wind is strong and when the wind is a bit strong here uh, you never know that one of the leaves of the palm trees could fall and of course it's bad if it falls on you so that's the risk you take if you want to go swimming whenever it's windy I'd advise you not to so another thing I would like to share with you is I'm going to now clone my online style course so that I could make it into Indonesian language since they don't have the automatic uh, translation to Indonesian language. So once it is approved by the site, by the site again, I say CITOS because CITOS is in Indonesian. Uh, Cito is in Italian so once it is approved then I'm going to work again on making it into Indonesian but it's just a matter of translating what I have already done on my English course I'm not English language on the style course on English language which is the my main uh, course that I offer so that's that's what I'm looking forward to forward to I think I'm going to do it tomorrow because today I woke up very late 11 o'clock since I fell asleep only around 5 30 I didn't sleep a wink last night so I fell asleep until 11 o'clock and I had my breakfast then well then not long after just a little lunch because I don't have appetite so uh, never for me having breakfast after 9 because then it disorients me and uh, I can't focus so I better don't do the course 
today, even though I'm still waiting for the approval of the administration on that side. And actually, I just need that as a passive income, and it's not like an ambitious uh, reach that I would like to have because I just need a small additional income to the income I already have monthly anyway. It's just it's just a small more additional and I would already be so grateful if I could achieve that or obtain that and let's see and what else um, it's already November right the 14th soon is the 1st of December I haven't put up my Christmas tree I don't know whether I'm going to put up soon because normally I would put around, yeah, I would put on around 6th of December and then by 6th of January I've already I would already dismantle them or dismantle it. So that's more or less my uh, tradition. Put up on the 6th of December and then 6th of January gone already, down already. Uh, let's see because I made the Christmas tree here organic and uh, I'm going to add a little bit more today, this time for more organic decoration or whatever. And I don't have plans to go anywhere, but so far my uh, lady friend from Italy, not sure if it's with her companion or with a girlfriend, they're going to be here for New Year's Eve. And they're going to stay 10 days, which I'm looking forward to. So that is exciting for me. But no confirmation yet, no date set yet. But she is planning to spend the new year here. And she would love to stay here 10 days, she asked me already. And um, I'm looking forward to having guests from Holland for my BNB room downstairs. But they asked me to arrange for a pickup uh, car because they can't be bothered with the uh, Uber service or taxi. I would have to provide a car to pick them up that I would send it from here so that they won't have to be faced with driver asking where to go oh, which side and then they would have to call me and then you know arrival it's such a hassle because sometimes you don't have the local sim right the sim card so i would suggest for every visitor in indonesia or in any other country for that matter at the airport as soon as you arrive buy a local SIM card because once you have local SIM card it is so much cheaper and no more complications except of course you have to up, uh, upload the local Uber service then it will be very convenient for you to use Uber car we don't call it Uber anymore here we used to have Uber but not anymore so here they have a, a <coughs> Uh, Uber-like service that is called GoCar or GrabCar, but I use GoCar. It's already on my uh, um, mobile phone, so every time I need to go anywhere, I just order from there. So I would suggest visitors, please buy the local SIM card right away on your arrival at the airport. So yes, I'm going to send a car to pick them up. I haven't organized yet because I still have plenty of time to do that so if only I could have a guest using my bed and breakfast service like 10 days a month I would be so so beyond happy that consistency that I am trying to get but it's so so difficult because the competition here is quite high it's quite tough a lot of apartment built uh, rooms a lot of uh, houses so it's not like in the past 
but my house is so unique that I am confident the attraction factor of it is very high. The only downside of my place is far from the center of the city. So the business people can, cannot opt my house for my house because it's too far from the business center. But all the guests that I've been getting uh, on my BNB um, service uh, is the people who have to attend weddings in this area. So instead of staying in five-star hotel in the center of the city or in the city center, they would prefer to come stay in my house and then attend the weddings that are held here in this uh, part of Jakarta or a little bit on the suburb. And um, that's the only market that I, that I have on my villa here. Um, mostly, they are quite um, uh, prestigious people that I get here. Uh, cardiologists from Australia, uh, doctor from Holland, and lovely nice couple from Belgium. I'm not too familiar there with their prof profession. Um, uh, movie star or a TV star here. They stayed here in my uh, house. So that's the category of guests that I seem to attract. And uh, that's it. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. So if I could only occup have occupancy of 10 days in my bed and breakfast every month, oh, it's, 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 it's already fantastic for me. But at the moment, it's very inconsistent. You know, a few months, nothing, and then maybe one month, I can get two or three guests. But short visit, short stay. And then a few months again, nothing. So it's not consistent. It's not the kind of business that I was looking forward to do um, as, a, yeah, as an added income or passive income. Well, bed and breakfast is not really passive because we work on it. And um, so that's what I'm going to, to, to be more aggressive on trying to get the market for people to stay uh, on my bed and breakfast uh, business or rooms. I have two bed and breakfast rooms. So um, although one is the primary one that I actually prefer to rent uh, consequently, one room is already sufficient for me, but it has to be consequent so that's it well, almost half past five the tea is already waiting in my balcony even though it's not raining even though it's cloudy and dark but still hasn't rained so I might as well have my tea right now before it rains okay so I please again subscribe to my video if you enjoy uh, the content of my natural video um, if there's anything you would like to ask me or to do something being here in Jakarta uh, please 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 just write below and uh, yeah I hope to see you again next time ciao ciao